Hi everyone, today I will show you how to use Brancher.ai. So let's just begin. Okay, so I have to search for the Brancher. And as you can see here, we have the Brancher.ai here. So we have to click on this. Okay, so what is the Brancher.ai? Okay, so the Brancher.ai is used to build the AI apps within the minute without the code. It actually connects the AI models to build the AI apps. Okay, so let's just begin. So click on the create app here. And as you can see here, uh, we need to log in here. So if you haven't created the account, you can simply sign up from here. But I have already created the account. So I'll simply continue with my Gmail account here. All right, so as you can see here, we are inside the dashboard of Brancher.ai. Okay, so in the dashboard, we have the apps. We have the template library from where we can actually use the templates to build our apps here and we also have the subscriptions where we have all the different packages of the subscription here so as you can see here that we have the three packages the first one is a free the second one is a basic which is eight dollar per month uh, and the third one is actually the pro which is 24 dollar per month if you pay the bill annually but if you want to pay monthly you'd actually need to pay 30 dollars for the pro $10 for the basics and nothing for the free package. Okay, so now let's just go into the apps and let's click on the C templates because I want to see the templates first. Okay, so now let's just go with any template from here. So I would actually go with this template, the business name bot. Okay, so this is the app. This is actually the template. So which actually take the type of the business and the business personality and additional key words you would like to include as an input and then it will basically respond you with a beautiful short catchy name for your business all right so let's just use this uh template okay so let's click on the use of the template and we'll at least have an idea that how the brancher.ai works and how can we use it uh, to build apps here okay so let's go back i think we have a kind of error and go into the sign in Okay, so our business name board is in the draft. So let's click on this again. And now it is working. Okay, so whenever you create the app in Brancher.ai, this will be the interface to create the app. So first of all, we would have the A basics. And after that, we would have the form. And after that, we would have the flow and the logic. And in the end, we can publish and share our uh, app here. Okay, so in the app basic, you will basically get the background color of uh, your website. Okay, so you can change the background color from here if you want to and you will get the text color You will get the button color and you will get the title of your app And we also have the description of our app and we have this URL Okay, so as you can see here in the form We have the three type of the input the type of the business the brand personality and additional keywords that we like to include for your business and Based on these inputs, it will actually generate the name for your business. We have these three forms all right and in the flow and the logic of brancher.ai you basically give the prompt to the chat gpt okay so as you can see here you actually give a prompt here okay to the chat gpt which actually gives the response to our prompt okay so this is how you can add the flow and the logic uh, and in the end we have the publish and the share so you can simply publish and share your ai app from here Okay, so now let's just go back to the apps and we will actually build our app from the scratch. So let's click on the apps and not save and click on the create a new app here. And from here, we will actually build the app from the scratch. Okay, so the first of all, uh, in the app basic, we have to give the background color. So I would actually go with kind of, I don't know, uh, what do we call this color? But it's okay. So in the text, I would actually like to have a bit dark color here it should not be the too bright white color okay so that is okay and in the button you can actually change the button color here so that would be i think that looks fine all right i think that will look fine okay and we have the app title so i basically write to create an app on the article writer a kind of that so article writer okay and it is an AI board that can be used to create the articles for the 
blocks okay so that is fine all right so now we'll actually go into the forms okay so to create the article the first thing is that we need a topic so it would be the main topic let's just say main topic so write down your topic okay so i will also create the second form field so that would be the text and it would be the specific topic if i want to focus on the specific topics of the main topic so for that i will actually write down specific topics right write down your specific topics all right so i will also create a new form field that will be the formatting style of the topic so whether i want to write the article in the friendly way or the professional or the formal so etc so i will simply write down formatting style okay write down the way you write the article okay so write down the way you want to write the article okay so that would be the formatting style so i think we are good enough with the form fields so we have the three form fields here so now i will actually give the prompt to the chat gpt in the flow in the logic and add the prompt here so if you want to get anything uh, in the form of the text you will actually choose the chat gpt but if you want something in the image okay if you want to use the image model you will actually go with the uh, dali here but right now i just want to get the response in the text format so i will actually click on the chat gpt okay so in the form you can actually see here that we will get the values of our form fields okay so as you can see here we have the main topic we have the specific topics and the formatting style so these will actually add the values of the form fields okay so let me just write down the prompt here i want you to write an article about okay so i want to write down the article about the main topic so i will simply add the main topic here okay and try to focus on these topics in our main okay so i have to add the main topic here and your writing style should be okay so here i will simply add the formatting style all right so i'm actually done with my prompt here obviously you can write it down in more detail okay and you will get the more refined result but right now for the example we will actually go with this prompt okay so we have done our prompt here so now i will actually save our app okay so we have saved the apps right now let's just try to write anything here so okay so the main topic would be the bizarre gadgets okay so let me just correct the spelling from here okay so i want to focus on mobile phones and i also want to focus on the cars and okay so laptops would be okay so in the formatting style i would like to go with the professional okay so now what we need to do we have to submit our detail here let's click on the submit and it will actually generate the response for us so we'll simply get our article here okay about the main topic and the subtopics and the formatting style as well all right so as you can see here we have our title exploring the world of the bizarre gadgets unconventional marvels in the mobile phones cars and the laptops we have the introduction we have the mobile phone and we have the cars okay we have the futuristic flying cars laptops okay so we have a lot of these different things here all right so now i also want to add another prompt here so add a new prompt and that would be the chat gpt okay so i will use this prompt as the image generation prompt okay for the picture here so i will actually like to use the dali here as well okay so now let's just write down the prompt here i want to have the photograph with studio lights of a gadget okay so that will be the light all right of specific topics and turn the above topic okay so turn the above topic into an image generation prompt that i can use with open ai's dali all right so i think we're good here all right so now let's just save this and right now i just want to go with uh, one specific topic here that will be the mobile phone 
because I just want to create an image here. Obviously, you can create the more form fields uh, that will actually give the more data to our prompt. So as we know that more the data we have in the prompt, better the result we will get here. Okay, so right now I will just use the mobile phones here and it should be the friendly now. Okay, so now let's just click on the submit button. All right, so we have got our topic here and we have also got an article on our topic and that is looking pretty good. And we have also got the image generation prompt here. So I will use this prompt to generate the image here. Okay, so now I will actually add a new prompt here. It would be the image module here because I want to generate the image here. Okay, so let's click on the DALI and in the DALI we will actually use the response to. Okay, the so response of the second prompt. So let's click on add tech and that's it. Okay, so now what I need to do, I will simply save our app here and I will actually resubmit the detail again here. And you will be able to see the article with the generative image here. All right. All right. So our article is ready here and we're going to go into our picture. And as you can see that it actually generated the picture. Okay. So this is how we can use the brancher.ai. And as you can see this image prompt here. And right now this will be visible to the user. So how can we hide this? Okay. So I can hide this just by clicking on this button that output is currently visible. So if I just disable this, then the output won't be visible for the next time. Okay. So let's click on the save. Okay. So this is how we can use the brancher.ai to create the AI apps within the minutes without writing down any code here. Okay. So now the next step is to publish in the share. So you can simply publish your app from here. So click on the publish. And the app is published so now we can view our app from here so let's click on the view here and you will be able to see your app here all right so this is how it works and this is how we can use the brancher.ai and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel